three new novellas from Ariane Hunter, well not so new but new to me, and three exciting new novels that explain a lot of things that we did not know about the clans, and three unique novels with three very simple but heartwarming points. So this book, hello fellow book questers, it is I, Aaron the book Quester, and today I have this great book. Warriors, a warrior's spirit by Aaron Hunter includes Pebble Shine's kits, trees, roots, and moth wings secret. And all the all three of these are novellas, which are short stories that Aaron Hunter makes in order for us to go even deeper into the warrior's world, which is right over here, pretty much. And basically, this talks about three stories that we don't really know about. First story is about Pebble Shine. Pebble Shine is the is the mother of, well, two very important kids, you know, that we'll probably know in the future, Twig Branch and Violet, Violet Shine, two very important characters that will appear in A Vision of Shadows. And she is the mother who has died while defending her kids. And she wasn't able to see them grow up. But how had she become separated with Hawkwing and Skycloud and the rest? What had happened? And how did she feel? Well. Basically, it talks about what Pebble Shine had to go through while being pregnant, trying to find her way back to Sky Clan. And I believe this story shows resilience and faith because Pebble Shine, she was like giving up. She was starting to give up. She was like, oh, I'm not really gonna find my clan. But she has to believe that it'll all work out and eventually she will find her mate and her clan again. And with faith and resilience, she tries her best to do everything and tries her best to go to SkyCon. And I believe this should be the approach for everything in life, being resilient and trying your best at what you can. And the second is about Tree. Now Tree is the five pod weird cat who can see dead cats ghosts, which is, in my opinion, pretty goddamn cool. But, but, he has a history as well. He had lived with the sisters, a cult-like group of female cats. And if the female cats had kits that were Tom's, they were immediately kicked out of the sisters' group because just for the reason that they were male, which is absolutely ridiculous. And Tree gets kicked out and he finds his long-lost father and together they live for a while, but his father Root dies from a fox attack and after that he can't bear to be with anyone else in the fear of failing them. But in this story, Chi realizes that perhaps one day he would stand with another cat together and he realizes that being together makes him stronger and that his wandering, as he calls it, may come to an end someday. And I think that this shows that you can always find your own path. Moonlight, one of the sister cult cats that is actually Tree's mother, she's just so, she just says, ah, you have to listen to the earth, blah, 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 you're six moons old, we kick you out of the group. It's just so, all your path has been decided for you, or whatever. But, Tree realizes, slowly but surely, that she can do anything, that he's free to do anything, that he's gonna move around, try his best, and it, it's gonna, he's free, and he has the choice to do whatever that he wished. And that is the freedom of choice. Don't think just because your friends are doing something or your parents are pressuring you to do something that you don't have a choice. The choice is always with you. And that is what the second mini story is trying to tell us. And the third novella, the third and final, is Mothwing's Secret. It is about Mothwing trying to keep her secret about not believing in Star Clan. And in this, in this, we see that at the end, Mothwing actually meets Mudfur and her, her, her like Star Clan cats and Dark Forest cats again and again. And like always in the Warriors books, it's in the perspective of, for example, Leaf Pool of mainstream characters who believe in Star Clan. And for me, they they always had faith. And I was like, oh Mothwing, why can't she just? believe in Star Clan, like literally Dark Forest Cats came and dead cats battled and like why can't she just believe in Star Clan, is it so hard? And we look at her perspective of things and how she has to try her best trying to be um, a medicine cat, fighting her uncertainty 
and she's being super insecure about herself, and we start to understand what a complex character Mothling is. She doesn't. Be she believes in Star Clan, but she doesn't think that matters. She tries her best, and she is a good medicine cat, and she knows it. And I believe that that has a little bit of a harder deciphering meaning or little lesson there. But I think what it means is. I think it means that even if you don't follow the exact path that your predecessors have followed, for example, you want to follow an example of your hero or something, and you want to do this and do that, you don't have to exactly follow that chosen path. You don't have to. Edison, Thomas Edison, he was a train boy. He didn't even go to school, and look at what he has become. The and she, it's just that you don't have to, for example, go to Cambridge, get a degree, get a good job, then write a book. You could just write a book right now, like Christopher Paolini, like Aragon. And I think this shows that even if you don't follow the exact path that has been laid out before you and stray on your own, you can find security within that and be sure of yourself and have self-confidence and show the world that it can be done this way. And I think that that is also a very heartwarming and very inspiring message. And that is it. That is the three novellas that is within this Warriors book. Pebble Shine's Kids, Tree's Roots, and Mothling's Secret. I think the name A Warrior Spirit is very fitting for all three stories because it is about these warriors, their internal conflicts, and how they became to be the cats that we know in the mainstream series. It is a great book, and if you want to delve even deeper into the Warriors saga, such as I did, I highly recommend you to read this book. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester, great book, highly recommended. It. It's definitely a page turner, and it will leave a warm, warm place in your heart. In your heart where you believe in yourself.